Now, this is the reason I like Solana. When you have all of these drops looking like this, well, you've got Solana looking like this. Stable as I don't want to say what. Solana flipped over $180. It happened on 15th of March, as you can see. And over the past weeks, well, Solana users got more than $10,000 in airdrops. And I'll share with you the strategy which you can use and some steps in order for you to qualify for future airdrops. But what is an airdrop at all? Well, it's essentially when you get rewarded for being an early user to a blockchain or an application built on blockchain. And that reward comes in the form of a token or cryptocurrency. And it's been airdropped into your wallet. But now a lot of people are like asking themselves, why do projects do this? And it's very simple. You know, when you start a new crypto project, you need a community, right? And the best way to attract some people is to give them something for free. And in the crypto world, well, it's some good money. Today, we're going to pay special attention to the Phantom Wallet. Maybe you've heard about it. It's a really good one. And it works mainly on the Solana system. So you can go over to phantom.app or you can just Google for it. It's going to be the first result. And we're going to go step by step now. Now, what happens? Sometimes these tokens come to you and you literally don't have to do anything. But other times you have to claim them yourself. Optimism is one example when you don't have to do anything. It was the second round and the crypto was just airdropped into your wallet, which you have previously connected. While on Celestia airdrop, well, you had to claim it on a website. And if you didn't do that before the end of a claim period, well, your tokens were then redistributed to other people who qualified. And it's just going to depend from one token to another. Now, when we talk about Solana, as you can see down there, They've got a lot of these and they do not have tokens yet. For example, like Marinade, Camino, Margin 5, Gito is already done. So what we're trying to do today is we're trying to interact with as many different early stage blockchains and blockchain applications so that we can qualify for as many airdrops as possible in 2024 and beyond and hopefully get some success, right? Okay, so now what do we have to do to get in this game? First of all, Solana airdrops are the biggest ones nowadays. If you missed like 15k Gito or Jupiter, like it was like 10k if I remember right, well, well, that's bad news because those were really great ones. Farmers like me are just sitting on a fat stack of cash just for clicking simple buttons. Yeah, it does take a lot of time. And no, it's not a get rich quick scheme. You have to sit there. You have to watch. You have to do the research. You have to do these quests and you have to just be there and be consistent with it. But it's not rocket science, you know, you don't have to do anything hard. Now, considering that Phantom Wallet is the MetaMask of Solana, let's call it like that, it's fair to say that this one could easily top all the airdrops I just mentioned, Jupiter and Gito and whatnot. So work smarter, not harder, and don't miss this one especially the extra two qualifying measures that are going to give you huge advantage. This is a great guide that you have on the Phantom Wallet website itself. So I'm just going to go over it. Just stick with me, follow along. So what do we need to do in order to qualify for this? We need to have 0 0.12 soul. 0 0.12 soul is like now it's like $14. All right. So only $14 you need in order to start with this. So Phantom, it's the most popular and the most easiest wallet to use for crypto wallet decentralized finance and NFTs as well. And it's built on the Solana blockchain, as we've mentioned, raising 120 million. And this is surely going to remain one of the top opportunities in the airdrop space and you're going to be part of it. Now, just one more quick thing before we go. You know, from the past, maybe that with the Solana phones that they have revealed, thousands of dollars in coins were given out on the first phone purchase. All right, that's crazy. So you buy the phone, you get some money. And now on the second round, they're giving away eight plus airdrops. And this is another insane opportunity right now. But we know that Solana likes to team up with other projects and, of course, give lots of airdrops to the community. And also, we know that the Phantom has confirmed rewards for the new phone. It's like Saga 2 phone and you get like 
the phone for 450 bucks. So for those of you with some extra cash, this is another insane opportunity because you can get the phone and you can just get 450 bucks in coins. So it basically pays for itself. It's a good investment anyways. So let me just open up my wallet here. It's basically an extension and you can see that they've got various quests. So when you do these quests, they give you various tasks and as a reward, you get a part of the blockchain. But this is what everyone with a brain will do, right? So we're gonna go to go and dive a bit deeper. If you do these steps, it's gonna put you ahead of the herd. So the first step we have to do, go to Phantom Wallet and then just download this for Firefox or Chrome, whatever you're using. Set it up, make sure to save your seed phrase. I just write it down because computers, well, computers can get fried. So just write it down somewhere. If your computer is the only place where you store your seed phrase, well, you should really step up your crypto safety, right? You may also install your wallet on the phone as well. As you can see, there's gonna be a second step of this strategy. And as I've told you, you will have to buy 0.1 soul. You're also gonna have to pay a little bit of money for the gas fees. And that's why I recommend 0.12. I mean, they're basically non-existent, but they're still there. As you can see here on my wallet, if you go and click buy, you can just use, for example, Solana. Let's just click on it. You enter the amount. So I'm just gonna enter like 0.12. As you can see now it is $20. It went up. So you just click on the next button and you can use MoonPay and you can use Coinbase over the phone. So what's gonna happen? They're just gonna ask you to connect your wallet. You just maintain that balance of 0.1 and then just complete your signup by confirming a free transaction. After that, you can just go back to your wallet and press confirm. And this will give you a free Drip NFT. You've probably heard about Drip. Drip has airdropped various NFTs to holders, including the billionaire biohacker Brian Johnson's collection. And we're getting one of these for free. So that's pretty cool. Now, before we go into the next two qualifying measures, there is one thing you gotta do on the phone. There are quests for the phones only. And this is where you will need that seed phrase. And what we're doing for this one is that we can create create our own NFTs. So we have to mint something. This is one more quest. There's an entire block section on Phantom Wallet on how to get Drip. I'm gonna leave a link for this. And they're telling you here, step by step, everything that I'm talking about right now, but for you guys, it's just easier to listen and to just follow along. And as you can see, how to participate, just open the Phantom app, go to this tab, which is like the world tab, select the drip quest and press start. And when you connect your wallet and make that first transaction, you will just have this claim button, all right? So you will get that collectible that I was telling you about. And as I've told you for the minting process, you just have to go and take a photo with your camera roll, whatever, they even accept videos if I'm not mistaken, but they're capped at like 10, 15 seconds. Then just give it a name and then just confirm it and it's gonna appear in your collectibles. Now for the main part, what is highly speculated is that your chances for an airdrop here are gonna increase with the volume. The biggest opportunity is not the quests. That's what everybody else is gonna do. It is the volume the volume of swaps and the amount of tokens. The amount of swaps is gonna be crucial for your just ranking up, you know? They're gonna look for it. They don't wanna go and give airdrops to bots, you know? A lot of people use bots and then there's just a lot of those people. So what they wanna do, they wanna make sure they give airdrop to someone who deserves it most. Yeah, the game has changed. So if you want to secure a monster bag with Phantom Wallet and these future airdrops, I highly recommend entertaining a volume of at least $11,000. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't like be scared of this. You can just swap 1K 11 times from USDT to Solana and back and forth. Or you can use less or you can use even more. Honestly, gas on Solana is very cheap and it's, it's just good for you to do that. It's not that big of a deal. Unlike, for example, ETH, where if you do this 11 times, it will cost you an arm and a leg. And that's the main part of it. The volume of your swaps, it's going to qualify you more than all these other people. Also, I want to tell you to follow this guy on Twitter. He's called Mr. Loomis, and he's got this like ultimate airdrop list for the future ones. You can see some of the Solana here as well. And honestly, I've learned a lot from this fella. So just follow him. 
do the research. And as I've told you, stay consistent. Work on it. I'll catch you next time.